Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. With every step towards the self-reliance, India is strengthening its armed forces and stepping towards becoming the world superpower. Though India, the sleeping giant, realized it late but now the government is pushing hard towards achieving the goal of self-reliance. The geopolitical events that has triggered or I would say rather boosted the indigenization efforts is the Chinese aggression at LSE and the COVID situation. In today's video, we'll discuss in detail about the latest and critical technologies developed and delivered by DRDO to the industry. We'll also look into some of the big ticket items under the third positive list of indigenization released by Ministry of Defense. The Defense Minister Sri Rajnath Singh on Thursday has handed over transfer of technology documents for various technologies developed by DRDO at an event organized at DRDO Bhavan. The critical defense technologies have been transferred to various private companies like Adani Defense System, Larsen & Tubro, Astra Microwave, ICOM Tele Limited and Electronics Corporation of India Limited, Economic Explosive India Limited, Tonbo Imaging, BEL and many more. In total, 30 transfer of technology agreements with 25 private and public sector industries which also includes 21 niche technologies developed by 16 DRDO laboratories were done. Some of the critical technologies which is worth noting are counter drone system which was given to LNT, Adani, Astra, ECIL and ICOM. 2 kW laser direct energy weapon system to BEL, digital radar warning receiver to BEL, airborne EOIR sensor to Tonbo Imaging, mini unmanned ground vehicle to high tech robotics, optronic periscope for submarine to Paris Defense and Space Technologies Limited, to name a few. The transfer of technology took place while Rajna Singh released the third positive indigenization list of defense equipment. The indigenization list consists of 101 major equipments or platforms to be completely indigenized by December 2025 with effect from December 2022. The third list is built on the first list of 101 items and second list of 108 items that were released on August 21st, 2020 and May 31st, 2021 respectively. The third list includes some of the major defense hardware such as LORUS, Long Range Reconnaissance and Observation System, Weapon Locating Radar, Heavy Weight Torpedo Launchers for Ships, MFSTAR Radar for Ships, Upgrade of BM-21 Crad MBRL Vehicle, Naval Anti-Drone System, Mobile Autonomous Launcher for BrahMos, MRSAM, Naval Utility Helicopters, Mounted Artillery Guns, Light Tanks, ARV for MBT Arjun, Anti-Radiation Missiles, Submarine Launch Cruise Missiles, Ship-Based MRSAM, Ship-Based VLSR, SAM, etc. As reported by Business Today, the items in the indigenization list is likely to translate into firm orders over the next five years and order will worth close to around 2,10,000 crore. Since the notification of first and second list, contracts for 31 projects worth 53,839 crore have already been signed by armed forces. Acceptance of necessity for 83 more projects worth 1,77,258 crore have already been accorded by Ministry of Defense. In addition, cases worth Rs. 2,93,741 crore will be progressed in next 5 to 7 years. The notification of third list will supply equipments of international standards to meet the challenging demand of Indian Armed Forces. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.